Hello everybody, welcome to the week 2 preview for RLCS Season 9. Uh, after last week's games, I did alright in my weekly pickums. I went 9-1. and one. Let me know how you guys did if you did anything. I don't think my fantasy team did super great, but either way, the games are definitely entertaining. So let me jump into my week 2 predictions, and then I will talk about my power rankings on the next few slides. First up, Space Station Gaming vs. Susquehanna Sonics. Uh, Space Station looked really good last week, and I, I think it was Lawler on the CJCJ show is saying they look like they could be the best team in NA and I can't argue with that. I think right now they're definitely the team in NA I would say who could challenge NRG. Obviously NRG didn't have a great game against Susquehanna which is worrying so it's definitely possible that Space Station could come out number one this season but it's still super early but I definitely think Space Station should easily be able to handle Susquehanna Sonics and I don't think this one will go to game five like they did against NRG. So hopefully Space Station starting off a nice 2-0 two, start to the season. I like them, they're one of my favorite teams. Uh, yeah, let's see how they do this week. And then this is the n next game I think is probably the most important game in NA this week. E United and Ghost. Both these teams looked good last week. Uh, obviously Ghost fell just a bit short, but E United were able to sweep Cloud9. And they both teams I thought played really solid Rocket League. Ghost, even though they lost to Space Station Gaming, they looked really solid. I thought their plays were working out. I just think Space Station's, a, you know, one of the best teams in the world right now. So, yeah, it's tough. I think Ghost can come out with it. I've been really impressed with them lately, like going back to that tournament they won, and then last week in Space Station looked good. But I definitely think E United could come out with it. I wouldn't be super surprised, but my bet's on Ghost. I definitely think that'll be one of the most entertaining series of the week. Uh, Rogue, Cloud9. This one could be good for other reasons. Uh, whoever wins this will be off to a 1-1 one one start, but for the other team, they'll be off to an 0-2 start, and it'll look like their season's in disaster already. Because Rogue, last week, first killer looked good, but Wonder and Kenobi looked really, really average, and Wonder looked pretty bad for the first two games. Um, and so yeah, if they lose again to Cloud9, a team that just got swept by United, Rogue will definitely be looking like a bottom 3, bottom 4 side, and... Yeah, it's not really what you want as you're bringing first kill, like the hottest strategy in the world right now. Cloud9, if they lose, man, okay, their season's over. Rogue is not a good team. They should not be losing this. Cloud9 already lost to United last week. A team, I was expecting them to at least keep close, but they got swept. So that's not good for Cloud9 at all, and they need to really bounce back here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is for Cloud9 other than, like, like the, obviously they talk about the boost management and the boost stealing cloud nine just doesn't have that but like individually i don't feel like torment and gimmick are playing awful the entire time but it's just not clicking like it was back when they won the rlcs and squishy's still playing well he's not throwing but he's not having that crazy impact and like hard carry we know he can do so uh, i don't know i, I don't want to say this team just needs to start clicking because they've been playing for like three four years whatever it is now and yeah, I think if they set off 0-2, they their season's looking really rough already, and they're definitely going to need to make some changes in the off season. But my bet is on Cloud9. I do think they will take it, and at least salvage some part of their of their early season. They do have eight weeks now to rebound instead of just five weeks, so who knows how they'll end up in the end. But I do think Cloud9 will take this match. Energy versus fight. I wasn't very impressed with NRG against Susquehanna. I think they dominated, but they just didn't dominate as much as they should have. Uh, and Flight looked good. I thought they held up well, and obviously they went to Game 5 where they, they probably should have beat the Knights, honestly. Pittsburgh played really bad that series. But Flight, not enough to make me think they can beat the reigning world champions. Energy's taking that one. Pittsburgh Knights G2. This one will definitely be interesting, because G2 looked great last week, and Pittsburgh Knights looked odd last week. So I think... If I had like Pittsburgh Knights 3 in my power rankings and G2 like 5th, now they both moved up to like that contested 4th spot area and their skill gap, I would have guessed Pittsburgh Knights at the beginning of the season, but now I'm like, oh man, I think G2 can take this, and I do think G2 can take this. So that's my pick for NA. I think it will be a good week. There are some good games and some important ones. Uh, next up in EU, Barcelona vs. Endpoint. I do think Barcelona can take it. Ronicky and Flakes, I think, are two spectacular players. And Devo's not awful. I think he can play well. Um, but they're not the superstars like squad that they were when they, when they had that crazy run at World Championship a few years ago in Season 7. But I think they can take Endpoint. Didn't impress me um, enough to make me think. 
But Endpoint's definitely going to keep it close. I don't think they'll get destroyed. And TSM Veloce. I'm going to go with TSM on this one. I really do think Veloce relied way too much on Monaco's mistakes last week. And, Mon and TSM looked really good against Sigmatas. And yeah, with Veloce relying so much on mistakes like they did last season, uh, it's just so unreliable. I don't get how they made it to second place last year. They they did not look great last week against Monaco, and I do think TSM is a better team than Monaco, maybe, on any given day. But, uh, it'll be close, but my, my, my guess is TSM. I do think they played really well last week, and Veloce looked odd. There were definitely some defen glaring defensive errors, but... Moving on to the next one, Vitality Singularity. This one should be pretty easy. Vitality should beat Singularity, but they did struggle last week a little bit. They didn't look amazing with Alpha 54. This will be another easy game to hopefully start up the Season 2 and just try to try to start get some momentum building, as they did look a bit rough in the first week. But I still do have them top of EU. I'm not going to bump them down until they, they, until they prove they don't win, you know? And then Monaco Dignitas. I like this matchup. Because if Monaco can keep it close, they had a good game, a good series last week or against Mouse. And then if they can also play Dignitas well, I think that these guys will be showing they can compete for a uh, world spot. But Dignitas, I think, is better, and I think Monaco will start out 0 2, which is rough. Because they, if they do play Dignitas well, and they did play Mouse well, they'd be starting off 0 2 and have nothing to show for their good series. But heading into the rest of the season, it would look good for them, and I do think they're a good team. But I do think Dignitas can come out with this one. I was really impressed by them. I don't think it should have been as close as it was against TSM. I think Dig had way more opportunities on offense, and their defensive transition was really good. Reciprocity, Mouse. Um, yeah, I think Reciprocity will take this one. Mouse looked weak. They really struggled to start clicking until the end. And even then, they weren't really able to take down Monaco, who is a way worse team than Reciprocity. So I do think Reciprocity will come out with this. But if Mouse can take it, I do think they have the talent. And... I, I should, I, I'm expecting Mouse to keep it close. Like, theoretically, these guys should be top, both these teams are top three in my mind, but they, Mouse struggled too much last week. Reciprocity, I think, are just too good of a team, they're going to take it. So, moving into my NA power rankings, uh, you can see spots 1 through 10. The arrows next to them tell you whether or not they moved up in my power rankings from last week or not. Starting off, Energy and Space Station. Um, yeah, those two guys are kind of interchangeable at the moment. But I kept energy at the top because they're the reigning world champions. Can't bomb them down until they lose. Uh, next two spots, Ghost and G2. Both teams really impressed me. Ghost obviously kept it close against the Space Station. And I do think they look really good. And G2 coming out with a huge 3-0 sweep over Rogue. The only reason they're not above Ghost is because G2 uh, played Rogue. And Rogue's really not a strong team. E United swept Cloud9. Easily bumped them up several spots. I think they were in 7th last week. Pittsburgh dropped 3 spots. Yeah, rough. Um, they didn't look great. They really, really played awful. You can watch my other video for more on that, about the, whether or not Knights deserved the win against Light. Cloud9, again, got swept 3-0 by E United, and I was really hopeful for these guys, but I don't know how it's going to go. If they can beat Rogue, then then maybe... I don't know, because right now I don't even see if Cloud9 beat Rogue that Cloud9 will move above Pittsburgh Knights right now, unless Pittsburgh Knights have an awful showing. So still looking rough for them, but they do have a week here. They can bounce back. Rogue, again, looked pretty bad. First killer was pretty good, I thought, and I think he had an underrated series. He just obviously wasn't able to do much because I think his teammates around him are bad. And so, yeah, if if Kronovi and Wonder can pull up together and start playing pretty well, I think his team can bounce up a rank or two, but I don't see them finishing higher than fifth this season. Uh, not even getting to fifth, probably. Flight and Susquehanna, these guys switched spots. I was kind of impressed with Flight against Pittsburgh, but it wasn't enough to make me think they deserved much higher than this because Pittsburgh Knights just played bad. I don't think it was Flight playing well. Susquehanna took it to a game five, but I don't think they would have deserved it. I think they're still bottom of the league. Moving into EU. Oh, that's so embarrassing. There's a little white bar at the top of the screen. Ugh. Anyway, Vitality, I'm not going to bump them down until I lose, but I think them and Reciprocity could be interchangeable at the moment. Mouse got bumped down because of their weak showing against Monaco. I would like to see Mouse bounce back this week, and it could be a huge game in determining who will end up in those top three spots. Dignitas played well. I said that earlier. Uh, Barcelona, not super impressed. They took Veloce. They're right next to each other. That's why none of them changed spots. They Veloce and Barcelona, either team could have come away with that series, I think. They were both playing pretty average. And Monaco TSM, I think that these guys are both... Like, I think 
from Barcelona down to TSM, all of the, four of those teams could finish from top five down to top eight. Like, there's a huge range of where those two guys can finish. But I, I think this is what my rankings look like at the moment. Uh, yeah, I, I was impressed with TSM, though. Like, they definitely played Dignitas well. Maybe I should have bumped them up above Monaco, maybe? I think... I don't know. It's tough. Like I said, they're so interchangeable. I don't even know what to do here. Like, I could have put Veloce in 8th and TSM in 6th, and I'd still be happy with it. I think those teams are all very close at the moment, and I'm going to need another few weeks to figure where they belong. Endpoint Singularity. Singularity, eh. Yeah, whatever. I expected Endpoint to do well this year compared to, like, TSM, but TSM really impressed me, and I don't think they'll be the bad defensive team we expected them to be. So, I've dropped Endpoint down a ranking, but I do think they could end up finishing you know, 7th place maybe if they played really well for the rest of the season. So this is my power rankings and my week 2 preview, guys. I hope you're excited for it as much as I am. I always look forward to it. And I think the Rival series is starting this week as well, so I'll have something to watch today as I kill time until tomorrow. Everybody, I've been Emrat. Thanks for watching.